Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com and subscribe to our blog to get access to live lectures which are extremely useful as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. They will provide you with excellent slides and material to go through your medical school curriculum as you near the Comlex board exam. Again, everything is free. Let's talk about menopause. Well, this is defined as the cessation of menses for a minimum of 12 months as a result of the cessation of follicular development. The average age of onset is 51 years of age. And also, premature menopause is defined as ovarian failure and menstrual cessation before the age of 40. What are some of the signs and symptoms? Patients present with hot flashes. They commonly complain of anxiety, insomnia, irritability poor concentration, mood changes, and loss of libido. In addition to this, patients have atrophy of the vagina, osteoporosis, coronary artery disease. To make the diagnosis, you would have to look at the FSH and the LH levels. And first the FSH would be elevated and then the LH would show an elevation. DEXA scan should be ordered to follow the bone density of osteoporosis and a lipid profile will show an increased cholesterol and decreased HDL. The treatment. Well, the key thing you want to focus on is treating the vasomotor symptoms. And this slide here shows you a diagram of various vasomotor symptoms that women who experience menopause go through. There's headaches, hot flashes, risks of cardiovascular disease, backaches, and also hair becomes thinner and loses luster. There's stress or urge incontinence, vaginal dryness, um, bone loss mass, and women become more fragile. So all these are changes that you want to remember. And so after you get your lab studies, when you're focusing on the treatment, you want to make sure that you discuss hormone replacement therapy in detail. Hormone replacement therapy has been shown to increase cardiovascular morbidity and mortality and may increase the incidence of breast and endometrial cancers. For this reason, clinicians should thoroughly review the risks and benefits of hormone replacement therapy before initiating treatment. Also, post-thyroidectomy patients do not need progestin. Unopposed estrogen in patients with a uterus predisposes to endometrial cancer. And again, currently HRT is not recommended as a first-line treatment for menopausal symptoms. Contraindications to HRT include vaginal bleeding, suspected breast cancer, endometrial cancer, history of thromboembolism, chronic liver disease, and hypertriglyceridemia. What about the non-hormone replacement therapy options? While well, patients can be put on venlafaxine and less commonly clonidine can be given to increase the frequency of hot flashes. For vaginal atrophy, long term an estradiol vaginal ring has been shown to be useful and for short term vaginal cream of estrogen may relieve symptoms. Once a woman is postmenopausal, she should be routinely screened for osteoporosis and also treat with daily calcium supplement and exercise, possibly bisphosphonates. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures on obstetrics and gynecology as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Again, the website is www.comlexflashcards.com as we bring you more lectures daily. Good luck in your preparation for the board exam.